shall save them. And he that believeth not shall be saved. These signs shall follow them that believe. My name shall be cast out devils. They shall speak with the tongue. If they take up serpents or deadly things, they shall not harm them. And after he said this, he was taken up into heaven. He set up the right hand of the Father to watch over his church. Whatever you confess that he is, you that's what he confesses before the Father. From whence he shall come, his power, his glory. And the disciples went forth everywhere, preaching the Lord, working with them, confirming the word with signs following. Thank you, How wonderful he is. How glorious he is. There's no greater time in the world than this for baptism. Right the boys will be out of the world. Kennedy has heard the voice of the resurrected Christ. This woman says her head for St. Grant come in to take Richmond. The bar, or she said, My eyes will see the glory of the coming of the Lord. Someday he shall come. All of our sorrow will be over then. This is a marvelous day, a day for the resurrection. While it was the Spirit of the Lord said, Go near to the chariot. Here was the eunuch who reads the scripture. Isaiah 40. All we like sheep have gone astray, and God has laid upon us the iniquity, upon him the iniquity of us all. He was wounded for our transgressions, bruised for our iniquities, and chastened with our peace upon him. With his stripes we were healed. And Philip said, Understandest thou what thou readest? He said, How can I let someone teach me? So Philip got up on the chariot. And they were taking the same scripture and begin to speak to him of the resurrection of Christ. His power. Now be Christ is with us with you. And the eunuch said, Here is water. What does hinder me from being baptized? As soon as he heard the message, he said, Thou mayest, if thou believest with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. He said, I believe with all my heart, soul, and mind that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Stop the chair. The son, you truly in your heart believe that he is the Son of God. He that believeth shall not be condemned. Stop the chair. Philip the eunuch went down into the water. Philip obeyed his commission by baptizing. And when he did, the Spirit of the Lord caught him away. They didn't see him anymore. He was 30 miles away. That I was. Now I was saved and filled with the Spirit. They were all shouting and screaming and carrying on. The Holy Spirit was falling. Next thing was baptism after conversion. Acts, the second chapter, 37th verse. And when they heard this, they were pricked in their hearts and said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, Man and brother, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, for the promises to you and to your children, and to them that fall, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Heavenly Father, 1900 years since the scripture has been written, and your promise is still moving on. And now, Lord, here these young people, these two young ladies standing here to my right, 
they accept that you as their Savior. They believe the gospel story. To my left, Lord, my little nephew Melvin is my own boy. Oh, God. If it's possible this morning, if two brothers could be called and look over the banister, look down and see their boys now. Oh, how happy I am, Lord. Oh, to know that you, you answered prayer. That poor little mother, Ruth, she's gone all years ago, but her prayer is answered now. She prays that he would love you and serve you. May he stand this morning. To these others, their mothers, maybe it's gone on, Lord, we don't know. Now it does. But whatever. Answer prayer. And now, dear Father, as your humble servant, a minister of the gospel, I'm going forward to perform my duty as a priest. God, have mercy. And as I baptize them with the water, may the Holy Spirit heal Christ into their hearts. And may they come up out of water as you come up all the Easter morning. And may they raise from the watery graves this chilly cold water. May someday, if they go to rest in the grave, may the clay cross break, the juke stone roll back. They'll be reunited again, Lord, with their loved ones. In the kingdom with our Lord Jesus Christ who made all this possible. May each one go with a full memory, the full assurance of what they're doing, that they're moving forward now, believing this story to be true. Is that he that believeth shall not be condemned. I am the resurrection of life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Here's their faith or testimony. Lord, as I baptize them into the fellowship of this church, Lord, I baptize them into the fellowship of thy beloved Son by the Holy Spirit. While we ask this in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. God bless you, Jesus, as you go to your room.